questions and comments? Uh, the Honourable Member for Edmonton Strathcona. And, you know, as a, as a prairie girl, this is, this is a little outside of my, my zone, but I do come from Alberta, and the member was just answering the question of my colleague from the Bloc, um, and he brought up the example of the oil and gas sector in, in Alberta, and, and the, the need for the federal government not to overreach. Now, one of the problems that I have is that on occasion, provincial governments, and I would use the example of the Alberta provincial government, do not do a particularly good job of promoting renewables to promoting forward-looking looking, um, industry. You know, as we know with Danielle Smith, she, she paused renewables in Alberta and, and $33 billion worth of investment was chased from our province. I'm wondering, from, from his perspective, is there a, a place for the federal government to ensure that strings are attached? Another example for me would be when the money came from the federal government for orphan wells to be cleaned up in Alberta and, and that there were no strings attached despite the fact that the NDP asked for that and yet the, the, the wells in Alberta have still not been cleaned up. Like, does he not see that the federal government has to have some, some, pretend, some role to play in developing our resources, in making sure that resources are, are being developed adequately? The Honourable Member for Tobique Mactaquack. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thanks to my Honourable Colleague from across the way. I must say that uh, my concern as it relates to federal government jurisdiction and the role that we can play as a federal government is this. I believe that the federal government should become the biggest cheerleader for Canadian energy that there is on the planet. Canada's energy is the best sourced energy in the world with the strictest environmental regulations in the world for development and extraction. And instead of talking down our energy sector and putting the boot on our energy producers and taking on provinces that are responsibly re extracting and developing their energy resources, which quite frankly, by the way, is helping the rest of our country have the social programs that we so desperately need and want, whether it's our health care or whether it's education, no matter what, I know we in the in the East greatly appreciate the transfer payments that have come from our Western colleagues, and I think it's time that the federal government appreciated the dynamic that our energy-producing provinces bring to this country and the economic vitality that they provide for this country so that we have a good country, and start cheerleading our energy development and start cheerleading the good advancements that's happened in improving technology, improving extraction province, uh, practices, and stop getting on the backs of our provinces all the time about them developing their resources for the good of the country as a whole. Here, Let's here. stand up for Canada's here, here. energy.